mm. because they've got the financial muscle mm. and they dictate the kind of maze that we should grow mm. to the extent that we we there is there is there is a, um, a, a maze that they call wema mm. wema standing for um they call it um, um uh, is the 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 the, the the maize for Africa, mm. uh, that is water, water, water efficient, water efficient maize for Africa, mm. Wema, uh, by some very influential people. Mm. It's, it's, it's a GMO seed. So the Monsatos. The yes, the Monsatos. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and they want to take over. However, however, the, 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 the Africans... And these plants, by the way, let me make it very clear. Yes. Some of these organics, uh, or, or, organic, the difference between organic foods and genetically modified is that the genetically modified seed as contrasted to the organic seed. Yeah. The organic seed, at the end of the season, you can take this seed... And replant it. And put it on the ground and it will germinate again. Yeah. Whereas the Monsanto, Monsanto and these uh, genetically modified seeds, even if the cob looks that nice and big yeah. and round and healthy, but the fact of the matter is, come next season, you cannot take that seed and replant it and put it on the ground and it germinates again. Yeah. Because they set in the laboratory and modified it. Yeah. So that every planting season, yeah. you go back to the supplier of yes. the seed. Yes. And the seed that you're eating has no life in it. Exactly. It has no continuity in it. Yes. It does not have sustainability in it. Yes. And the question is, right now we have seedless tomatoes, yeah. genetically modified. Yes. Seedless grapes, grapes yeah. genetically modified. Yeah. And seedless cobs, yes. seed, because they don't have seeds in yes. them. Yeah. And, and, and at the end of the day, what are you promoting? Exactly. You are promoting uh, seeds that have life in them yeah and that by saying organic we are talking about seed bearing fruit yeah some of you are christians this is where i challenge you yeah the black book says i've given you every seed bearing seed yeah for food yeah, yeah. in other words every seed that you eat must be seed bearing yeah exactly <laughs> in other words exactly. every food that you take in in it must be life to procreate yeah and reproduce yes but through science many of these seeds have become non procreatory yeah non reproducing mm. at the end of the day you are eating <laughs> death because when you eat it it has no life in it true precisely and that is what we are saying to um it is the it, it is the issue of people that have come to impose themselves on us as Africa as if we don't think. Mm. But we are saying we, 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 we also think we know what we're supposed to do as well. We we have reference from the past. We are not going to tolerate that. So we are saying as Umkaiwa Foods, we are bringing a product to you that is going to be among many to help you in your in in, in your dishes in your daily dishes. You can make quite a few dishes out of this um, amazing uh, product. Mm. You can make pap. You can make umpohoko. Mm. You can make maheo. Yeah. You can make uh, even s uh, soft porridge. Mm. You can add some 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 uh, itobi. You can add some peanut butter, there, Bishop. Mm. It's amazing. Uh, it's what I'm sure do because yes, we are the ones who bath with peanut butter and uh, with uh, organic stuff we can actually do much more exactly than just the main meal itself yes definitely so this is this is this is what we are all about this is what we are promoting this is what we are encouraging Africans uh, to be cognizant of mm. yes um. right and, and while, while we are on while we are on that promoting African foods yes as a lifestyle yeah. as a way of life itself yeah. where do we find ourselves from the past that we are coming from yeah. where our forefathers left us an inheritance yeah. of good health yes they left us wealth yeah of seeds yes and 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 seasons because it's not just a meal like maize meal can be maize can be planted any time of the year yeah. like they do now yes with the genetically modified ones yes. we find maize in january to december exactly but this organic one you have to wait for the rains to fall. Yes. Then you plant it. Yes. Then you harvest it. Yeah. Then you make your food. Then you wait again the other year. Yeah. Because it is seasonal. Yes. With an intention that it must be eaten within a certain season. Mm. And then the dried one within another season. So actually we, we're looking at the African child managing their time. Yes. Yes. That we eat the right fr fruits. Yes. The right seeds. Yeah. At the right time. Yeah. Definitely. 
That is what that is what um, uh, uh, is all about. You're going to you're going to realize that it also allows for the land to rest. Mm. The land must rest um, from roundabout because right now we are in we are harvesting. Mm. So up to say April, mm. then the land the land rest. rests mm. until uh, August September. August September October mm. about we we, we we get into the field to start we start working. Mm. It reminds me also of the black book that talks about uh, back in the day they used to have the the land we used to have what you call the sabbatical. Mm. The land would rest on the seventh year, mm. so that it, it you don't plant anything. Yeah, so that it regenerates itself. What gave you the concept to come up with this Mugaiwa concept? Mugaiwa. I was move, I was living in a in a closed estate, mm. um, and I was eating the normal pup that everyone else is eating, and I was suffering from a lot of constipation, and uh, it wasn't it wasn't nice at all. Mm. So I took it upon myself. Having grown up in the village, having grown up in the uh, village, and, and in Zimbabwe, eating the the real, the real, the real, the real you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So now, now, and I'm, the pop in Zim is slightly harder than the one down here. Exactly. Yeah. Now I'm exposed to this one. I'm thinking, isn't there a plan? Then, then I deliberately move out out of that estate into mm. into a farm, and I said, let me let me start small. Let me let me farm for me. I was farming for myself mm. um, to cook you, to make your own food to own my, to make my own food. That that that's what drove. That's me. a good story. Yes, that's a good story. So yeah. when you before you started the business, yeah, it was when you started the business. Yes. it was not to do with the market. No, it was to do with you planting your own food. Yes, harvesting your own. Maze exactly and making your own yes pop. yes it was for myself and I did that successfully got myself a small um, hammer mill mm. there by by my small farm then I started doing things I loved it reminded me of 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 yeah donkeys in the back in the <laughs> village there yes. the grandmothers would put uh, uh, on, on a 50 kg bag of uh, maize meal they put half this side which is 50 kgs half this side which is uh, of the 50 kgs then it's 25 25 kgs yes. then you tie the bags together oh, and then you put it on the back side of a donkey yes then you hear the old lady says please Drive this donkey yes. to the grinding mill. Yes. yes, sir. Then you drive the donkeys to a, to a hammer mill somewhere. Yes. yes. And then you come back around 3, 4 in the afternoon with the right product. Bringing milly mill. Yes. And then sadza exactly. will be cooked. Yes. And then the family would start living. Yes. Then I remember those days. You remember those days. Yeah. So, it, it, and we used to love going to Chigai. Yeah. Because Chigai was next to the shops. Yes. And then um, and, 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 uh, the growth point. Yes. Then you know that, that day you're going to town. Town, which was our town. Yes, yes, yes. Then you get to see people. You get to see buses. It, it was, it was quite a spectacle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what about you guy? What about you guy? What about buzz? Yeah, it was, it was, it was interesting. Mm. So yes, and then I did that, and uh, uh, some people from 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 my circles who had known that I'd moved to the farm um, knew about me having um, yeah, some, Yes, and they came to test, and they loved it. Mm. They loved it, and the, the the circle grew bigger and and into my church, and I decided let me just let me just try to take this thing out there. Let me let me let me hear how what people are going to say about it. Mm. Started moving into shops, into big brands, uh, and we introduced ourselves. We're given a slot. We did in-store marketing. We cooked the the pub for them. It was amazing. Mm. Look, it's not a brand that you're used to because you have, have having been used to to, to to something that is very refined. Plastic. That, yes, something that is very white, something that has been cosmetized, something full of colors, something that has been put textures. Mm. You, you colorants and yes, preservatives. And and yes. Now 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 it's something different because the very the very the very smell or aroma mm. that comes from this this organic mm. maize mm. is the same aroma that comes from this milimu but it's a bit dried mm. so it was it was it was it was unique in its own way and people started loving it so we started we started distributing in, few, in a few shops uh, which obviously we were going to let people know where the, where these shops can be found right mm. and also and also some people placed orders directly we started doing um, door to door deliveries Mm. It was an exciting experience. Mm. Even now, people are still ordering, and we are 
We are moving. We are moving. I saw the other day your your your, your truck was in Cape Town. Yes. Uh, with a whole trailer. Yes. Full of uh, mugaiwa. Yes. Uh, yes. And Port Elizabeth and. Uh, it, it, definitely, it was. It was. Yeah, we are moving 34 ton trucks to all those uh, provinces: uh, um, East London, uh, Port Elizabeth, and uh, Western Cape, which is Cape Town, basically. So we 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 have started making. Um, um, inroads into those into those uh, places. However, something that I want to to, to throw also to to to, uh, to people, which camera must I use? Because I want to talk no, to you. No, you, you talk to me. Don't worry about you. Okay. All right. Obviously, the the, the, the work has grown very big. Mm. It has grown very big beyond us. We didn't really anticipate that this this product has been um, around for only two years. Two years. Yes, but the reception is amazing. So we so are, you are in spa now and uh, spas of checkers. Exactly, and, exactly. Mm. So we are saying um, to our African brothers, because this is what I'm passionate about, this is what I'm going to say now, is we want to empower each other as Africans. Mm. We, we, we are, especially now during this period that is, that is so unknown where we're going, mm. we're saying uh, we want you to collaborate with us, mm. um, become our distributors. Mm. Get together as Africans, mm. uh, put together some money, distribute our product Where, wherever you are in Africa, wherever you are in South Africa, you can distribute our product. We we have the capacity to supply you. We have we have the the, 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 the training um, um, tools and manuals that we can send you. We can have a, a Zoom um, um, training. Mm. We can have a one on one. These days it's allowed as long as there is social distancing. So we are saying it is very apparent for us to know that we empower blacks. This thing is what is very close to our hearts to say more than more than being wallet driven more than being driven by uh, the idea of wanting to have money in our pockets we're driven by the idea of seeing you uh, uh, your life pro prolongated you, 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 we should die at an old good age mm. you know mm. so we can't we can't full of years full of years and mm. wisdom mm. you see the problem we're having now is uh, after the generation of our fathers we are going to be dying around 40s or even before mortality rate has gone down it's gone down mm -hmm. because why the, the, the it's the lifestyle that we have decided to live especially as people that think are civilized mm -hmm. yet we're evilized so we think we think we have arrived yet we haven't even started mm -hmm. so we, we we are saying africans collaborate in your in your in your in your kasi whatever kasi whatever suburb you find yourself to be in get together collaborate with us um and we're going to give you a platform to for this brand to go very far in Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, here with me in studio today is uh, Moses Mube, who is the CEO and founder of this beautiful brand, Mugaiwa Millimil, taking us back to our indigenous African diet. When we come back after the break, we'll talk around the networking system that we can do as Africans, both in South Africa and beyond the borders of South Africa. How can we begin to come together as Africans and make sure that our food that is on our table is not colonized. Stay with us. We'll be back with you right after the break.
Welcome one, welcome all again one more time here on your wonderful and beautiful show, Sankofa, live from Johannesburg, South Africa, your host, Maponga J. With me in studio today is uh, Moses Nube, the founder and CEO of the organization called uh, Mugaiwa Mili Mill. When you, look your, when you look on your meal tonight, what you're having for dinner tonight, you must be aware that much of that meal is actually colonized, whether it's your beef, it's colonized. Whether it's your vegetables, they're colonized. Look at your salad, it's colonized. Look at your drink, it's colonized. And your staple part of the meal, whether you're having spaghetti tonight, you're having pap tonight, you're having potatoes tonight. Have you asked yourself the question, if what you are eating is organic or it is genetically modified? Many of us are just happy to have a plate of greasy looking food mm. as long as it looks good yeah. we think that it is healthy for eating the program of tonight is here to remind you that the fact that it looks good does not mean that it is healthy for eating Precisely. there's some food that people and human beings are eating today that even dogs and cats cannot eat mm. because those foods in essence they're neither healthy or edible yeah in terms of having food quality that we need. Yeah. And as we're talking to Moses tonight, my mind is actually galloping around yeah. the whole spectrum yes. of what comprises a meal. Yeah. I'm looking at the beef producers. Yes. I'm looking at the vegetable producers. Yes. I'm looking at the salad producers. I'm yes. looking at the drinks and beverages. I'm looking at the sweets producers yeah. who are the, 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 the yogurts and the, the ice creams and etc. Yeah. And without saying much, in when I grew up we used to eat baobab yogurt, for example. Yeah. We mabuyu. Yes. We used to go and collect these baobabs, those fruits, crush them together and then put some milk to them yeah. and come up with some yogurt. Yes. And, and all these are organic components yes. that actually form a healthy African diet. And, and I would want you to address yourself. Yeah. Mugaiwa being the base meal, yes. which you find at breakfast yes. as as porridge yes. with peanut butter, of course, in Shona, yes. but uh, umtoho, yes. and, 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 and many other ranges yes. of seeds yes. like sorghum. Rapoko, yeah. you know, you know, uh, millet, yeah. and etc. Mabele, yes. all these indigenous to make what you might call the breakfast meal, yes. the lunch meal, yes. indigenously. Yes. What was it comprised of? Yeah. And the dinner meal, what was it comprised of? How do you see yourself as a brand positioning yourself into feeding into the African market and bringing us back to the indigenous diet so that in the morning you could eat something yeah. that will carry you to the, to the lunch, to yes. the lunch hour, and yeah. if you miss your lunch you still be alive for supper time lovely um th thank you thank you bishop for bringing that up we actually already um on our farm we are doing what we call ground nuts mm -hmm. um uh, I'm, I'm a I'm a I'm a yes. Zungu. yes in zongo mm -hmm. in 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 isn't the valley we have also round nuts in jobo in jobo nyimo. Nyimo, yes we also have that we also have um uh Amatanga, like uh, pumpkins. Manana, yes, pumpkins mm. uh, that we use. For, uh, yes, mm. the, what we use for what we call um, the traditional tra tra traditional African porridge. Mm. Inopi. Inopi. Yes. So you and sometimes you actually mix inopi with uh, the maize meal. That's how it's supposed to come to up with. Yes. With, with, so you mix pumpkin. Yes. With uh, maize meal. Yes. To actually come up with uh, the the the, the, well, starch, that, that the starch side exactly of the, that of the thick, meal. Uh, that thick African porridge. We're going to we're going to come up with the the ingredients and the um the recipes the recipes how we should go about that so you are coming back here yeah? yes and mm -hmm. post that on our on our on our on our page so long mm -hmm. um but that we are going to do precisely and also um but I think it would be nice to, that, that we are not just selling or advertising or marketing or sharing or or you know beginning to share Mugaiwa as, as a product without compliment but it would be nice to know also that this Mugaiwa millimil which is which could be either in uh, all its fraternities of African grains yes. what recipes can you actually make out of uh, Mugaiwa yes. uh, in mixing it with other other grains precisely. to come up with an African dish which is actually organic and healthy precisely um, to, to, to add on to that we 
we then take the the the, the, the round nuts mm. or the ground nuts and mix them with the maize that you're holding there mm. we boil them together mm. and that's that's a meal on its own mm. it's enough to protein yes starch yeah you've got carbohydrates exactly you've got you've got you've got all the essentials one more time so you can actually take this uh, maize meal in yes. african in african diet yeah so you take the dried maize meal yes uh, and then you you boil it yes at 30 percent of it being cooked yeah then you add yes the the ground, ground nuts. nuts yes or round nuts or round you can even make a concoction yes you come up with your own recipe yeah then you boil them together yes and then another two three four hours later yeah it takes and it's actually nicer yeah. when it is cooked on a real a fire yes where the smell of the smoke and the wood yes is also worked its way into 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 your food yes. you don't cook them in these uh, modern pots yeah you need the three legged, three -legged pot. pot yeah and you put it somewhere there on your fireplace or the mud ones the ones. mud ones the yeah. hurry yes you know and you cook it nicely yeah. and the soil of the pot uh, socks into the the the, 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 the nuts it yeah. socks into the thing and then you mesh it up together if you want to mesh it up yeah but for meshing it up you might want to cook it slightly longer yes so that everything becomes soft then you beat it together yeah and you come up with a or else halfway cooked when all of them are soft enough you can actually serve it yeah. as, a, as, a, as a as a dish on its own yes and mutakura uh, yes as they call it yes i don't yes. know what you would call it in your own tribes yeah but basically it's a combination of all the harvest in the field yes. dried ones yes you boil them in one big pot yes and you serve them on a plate definitely also we can use the leaves from the uh, the pumpkins mm -hmm. Um, to make a very delicate uh, delicacy, vegetable. yeah, vegetable, and you add a bit of some peanut butter there, mm. and you have it with umkaiwa. You you remember me for the rest. You of guys the are gonna, you guys owe me. You owe me now because now <laughs> we are selling uh, cultural secrets here. <laughs> this is what we call African goulash. Yes, I, I grew up there. Yeah, you see, if you want to really make an African man happy, particularly in the Southern Africa, and uh, let me say up around Central Africa, yeah, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, uh, parts of Botswana and parts of Malawi, and even not the northern parts of South Africa. Yeah, you cook nice pap on one side. Yeah, then you get that free range running chicken yes please yes. don't add anything don't into it. it yes just chase it yes you catch it <laughs> you know put some water there yeah and a little bit of salt yeah and cook it yes. you know, don't hurry it don't yes. put too much just let it cook down nicely add a little bit of the onions yes the spring onions yes. inside yes and let the water die mm. and when it is just about one third below one third yes you know it is ready for for, for cooking yes then on the other side you take this uh, pumpkin leaves yes the pumpkin leaves. or nyemba yes i don't know what to call it in your own tribes yes there's another vegetables that grows uh, like beans yeah get some nyemba stuff quit on the side yes but better still when it's dried yes Put some peanut butter. Yeah. Beat it on the side. Yes. And put it right there. And by the way, you don't just put the pop like some of the South African people do. They just scoop the pop <laughs> and put it in the thing, and it looks like the military battle is in place. You must beat it nicely and 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 round it nicely, like the vendors people put in a plastic thing or something, or in the traditional thing. You put it in water Make first. It you scoop your pop and you put it there. It looks nice and round there. There is your drumstick and your little wing from the chicken there. There is your vegetable there with some. Big of peanut butter there bring me a dish of water to wash and please put a notice on the door we are not here we are not, we are not available <laughs> <laughs> do not forget some chilies bishop oh yeah yeah do not forget the 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 the, the chili mm. straight from the garden the Fresh chilies. yes and on the side uh, yes on the side and 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 you are going to have a time of your life man in yeah. china they say please tie me while i'm eating <laughs> you know like tie me and please i don't move away from i'm not you. moving i'm, I'm not, not moving, moving. Yes, yes yeah yeah so those kind of combinations we actually we we have all that uh, we are working on it's, it's actually amazing that um we it, it's, it's in the pipeline mm. um <laughs> We used to have um, uh, broilers at some point, mm. and then we discovered no, we we have lost the plot. Mm. So we are back 
to, to the road runners. You are also doing uh, organic chicken? Yes, lots of them actually. On your farm? Lots of them. So, because the, the idea is when someone comes to buy, we, we, we suggest combinations for them mm. straight from the farm because we have everything. Ultimately, you must actually have a, I think, without losing anything. Yes. Because we are Africans. Yes. And, and why, why people might even ask me, you are, you are, you are a high flying profile person. Yeah. Why did you decide to? to do something that is not as economically viable, yeah. like for example, running these TV shows and stuff. Yes. And I'm doing this because for the passion that I have Definitely. for developing the African people. Definitely. And I don't think we'll lose anything. Yeah. For example, we can say the batch of uh, 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 March to April, yeah. we are sharing Sadza and Mbora recipe. Yes. So that on, 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 our, on our branding, for yes. example, yes. we can actually put the recipe. The next batch of uh, you know March to etc. We are advertising or selling uh, with the dried meat, which mukuyu. Mukuyu, yes. And then the other season, this with uh, you know uh, wild vegetables. Yeah. And, and then each bag, if you buy it in season, comes with the actually comes with a recipe. Yeah. So that part of just it's not just eating. Is actually me beginning to share also the health benefits exactly. and, and the recipes. It becomes a lifestyle. That the modern child who was not as advantaged as I could be and as you are from yeah. the indigenous space, yes. where we know how to cook these recipes, so that our the ladies in our kitchen can actually begin to cut these uh, bags and uh, stock up those recipes. Yes. And five, six, ten years later, yes. you actually have your own recipe of African goulashes. I love that because uh, uh, if we are not careful. Uh, the African Africanicity is moving to extinction because we have been so Europeanized. We mm. we really think it's the coolest thing to be to mm. become to to speak the way we do and and not speak our indigenous languages among other things. So that is a very um, notable um, uh, suggestion. We are going to put that into action. Um, more importantly, Bishop, what, what I wanted to say as well, the benefits that come with eating this is um, um, breastfeeding moms. Mm. Uh, I can tell you right now that that they should try this uh, product. It 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 is good for milk, milk for the suckling babies. Mm. Also for the men that have lost potency. You mean it also assists? Yes, it's for the, for you the, don't pee on your shoes. Yeah, exa exactly. You, you you move at quarter past. You move at not at half past. <laughs> not at half past. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You have a quarter past uh, as a man. So that, that, that's a secret um, that, that every man must must actually suggest to the to those that do groceries. The and there's no magic in these guys. I mean, honestly, we might feel embarrassed when you talk about men's health. Yeah. Because it's almost like when you talk about sexuality. People, but the secret to, to, to male uh, erectile dysfunction yeah. is actually locked up in the, in the colon. In the bowels, yes. And if your colon is not clean... Yeah. It, it, the, the food that you are eating sits on your on your prostate. Yes. And your prostate is actually responsible for yes. for, for for erection. Yes. And the quicker you understand that, the faster the mo food moves out of your system, the better your 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 pencil writes. Exactly. Mm. Also, 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 also to say, uh, 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 we have gotten used actually to going through detoxification programs and all that. But I find it very hectic and unnecessary when when, when you can run your bowel when, by simply Natural. eating right. Eating right. Yeah, by eating right, you, you have no need of, of 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 going through all those programs. Mm. So we, we we're saying we're saying let's go back to to, to to basics and be careful not to spend money where it's not necessary because these programs for detox, to detoxification are just wasting money than 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 eating something that is. Um, balanced you know in terms of uh, fiber content like we're saying so, fiber content yes so for men for men uh, i'm passionate because i'm a man as well mm. and i'm very ambitious in terms of marriage mm. in terms of the number of babies that and i noticed that you have three women now I, I, in yes. your life the other day you put an advert out and i was wondering hey how's the young men coping so is this a secret yes it's, it's, it's actually official and yeah they they are all <laughs> <laughs> where, where are they? The, well, I want a program with you. Yes. With the, with the three queens. Yes, yes. And, and, and the secret behind. This yeah. Is, Keeping all of them happy. Yes, yes. It's, it's, it's very important for men. 
Mm -hmm. Right. So we're saying, we're saying to men, le let's, let's be encouraged. Then drinking that bitter herb, I, I, you know, those bitter herbs that we drink, trying to, you know, set Do a fast, fast, fast track program. Uh, yes, you know, and it only lasts for a week. Mm -hmm. we, we, we know that. Only eat well. Uh, yes, just eat well and your system is proper. Mm. You don't have to condition yourself now. I need to go and drink that bitter thing mm. so that I can perform. No, you don't have to. Just eat well. Get in touch with us. Mukaiwa Millimil is the best. We are a company that that is going to really empower Africans. We're not going to. We're not going back. We are excited about this program. Uh, we we are taking it upon our shoulders, like we said earlier, that to us it's not really about your money. But I want us to move into something much more m m very interesting. Yes, sir. While we are still on the on the on the program. Yeah. That when you look at the organic. Uh, African uh, 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 cob, yes. the African maize. Yeah, it will almost function in in three uh, critical places. Yeah, number one, we would eat it uh, green. Yeah, when we dry it. Yes, on the fire. Yes, and we roast it as it were, to and we eat it actually as, as raw as it is. As it is, yes, but just dried on the fire. Yeah. But our grandmothers, number two, would also skin this meal, mealy meal, maize meal as it is. Yeah. Get yourself a grater. Grind it. Get the porridge. Grind it. Come up with a pastish yes. sort of thing. Yeah. Then you take these uh, leaves the leaf, yeah. from the maize meal itself. Yeah. You know, these very leaves then you take you scoop a bit of the of the, the paste, paste yeah. put it inside here take the other maize leaf put it there and close it together you can tie it here yes. and tie it there do another one tie it there tie it there and have a nice uh, pot there put, it put inside. these things boil and it. boil them 30 40 minutes later you actually have what we call our african bread yes organic bread yes then the third use therefore you actually have four. Yeah. Then the third use is when you wait for it to dry and you make him gayo. Yes. But another use when it is dry like this. Yes. Ripe, dry and done. Yeah. Then you can actually, you know, peel it off, put it in your pan. Yeah. The African pan gango. Yeah. And then you roast it there again, one third up. You add your 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 ground your round nuts. Yes. Your your no sorry your, your ground your, your ground nuts. Yes. And you make maputi yeah. as you call them maputi, which is actually corn and 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 ground nuts put together. Yeah. So it's not just one way of making a maize meal. Yeah. It's actually it actually can be used in various forms. And number five. Yeah. Is when you make mukire uh, mukire. Yes. When you take the dried mealies themselves, you ground them into half, not very. You don't ground them into flour. Yeah. You leave them halfway done, sort of thing. Yeah. And then you you roast them. After roasting them, you pound them. Yes. And you make actually roasted pounded millimeter. Yeah. And then you eat that direct with a little bit of salt. Yes. It can take you places. Exactly. Then you can also make a, a, you know a, what they call a, 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 what do you call it milli 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 mill rice mill rice mm -hmm. where you break them into after that, that, that six. Yeah. Mind is moving fast today yes that's a mum yes then you're gonna also make uh, into a halfway or three quarter way into milli mill you put it in a pot you, you and then you put a little bit of water and etc yeah then you beat it up to make mpokoko. yes and you can also add the same uh, roughage halfway done three quarter way done yeah into a bit of uh, pumpkins yes to make mum uh, you know uh, nopi so, so actually this uh, this becomes a staple diet exactly in the southern africa yes. with almost like 10 15 if i'm not mistaken various recipes that you can come up with in terms of uh, feeding and the roughage of this when you're pounding and you're doing the traditional way of grounding your thing yeah. you feed that your chickens so actually chickens can eat magufe yes which is organic uh, roughage yes from the maize meal and it comes back to you as a chicken again yes so it's actually a stable staple diet both for uh, us as human beings and also for the animals the chickens that are around us definitely you 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 just to add what you said i was just getting carried away yes <laughs> you, you 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 did right
Mm. Just to add on to that, uh, then the African juice, the African drink, Thima mm. it's, it's That's number seven now. Yes, that's number seven. Uh -huh. That one, that one, every family must have it. Because then. Every home. Yes, every home must have it. Th sorry. Ma every home must have it. It's a must have. You, need, you, need, you actually listen to me, guys. Yeah. You need to go to flea market and buy ukamba, yeah. which is this African clay pot. Yeah. Don't buy those small ones. Yes. Get a nice big one. Yes. How do you prepare that recipe? You, you, you boil water mm -hmm. and add milli meal as if you want to. You make Ma porridge. Uh -huh. Yes. So then allow it to 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 simmer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it, it must make that noise. <laughs> yes. First, exactly. So that your macho is, yes. is cooked. Yes. Yeah. Cooked properly. Mm. And then you transfer it into that into that pot. Into that pot. And add more water. And add more water according to how you want it to be thick. Uh -huh. And then you, you you put it aside. Three days is good. Three days is good. But seven days is better. <laughs> Seven days is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, when it gets to seven days, it has a little bit of alcohol in it. it, 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 it uh, 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 the, the, in Shona, they call it Rungwa Zavatendi. Yes. Now, that those who call themselves Christians will be woken up a little bit. <laughs> By that one, yes. <laughs> it would be the best, actually, to put it in a in a hut, like mm. a house of with... with uh, Fetched house. Mm. It's, it's, it's best. The temperature is. Yes, the temperature is cool. It mm. does wonders. The round heart with yes, the round port. Exactly. Yeah. And leave it there for three days. Telling you, 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 and then after that, you can add a bit of some sugar. Mm. Little bit. Of sugar. Yes, depending on how you want it to taste. Mm. Then that could be your juice for, 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 for as long as you want. They are selling it, by the way. Mm. They're selling it. Okay. In the shops. Interesting. And the white people are actually selling macheo. That's interesting, Bishop, because then the, 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 what, what, what's actually amazing about it is they always add some preservatives mm. there. So it will come, it, it will come uh, uh, addressed or as, as macheo, but it's not really macheo. It's macheo in in disguise. They always, it's ma, it's ma <laughs> they, always, they always do something no. to it so that you... you, you your life is somehow altered. Mm. We, we, we are saying, drink it as it is. Don't add anything. Make it yourself. Make it yourself. Make it yourself. When you come back after the break, let us pick up and see how you can become part of this uh, grand organization called Umgaiwa throughout the continent of Africa. How can we preserve indigenous seeds? Plant them. And it's not only Umgaiwa. This is just one product. Yeah. We have all the African seeds in their various varieties. The question is, how do we preserve those recipes? and convert our indigenous knowledge into business. With Hello. me in studio today is uh, Moses Nube, who is the founder and actual CEO of the organization Kodum Gaiwa. Stay with us. We'll be back with you right after the break. is your wealth without good health even the richest man is poor where well, you are in the continent of africa you are watching us from the caribbean from united states from europe from asia 
you can never undermine the importance and power of a good diet because what you eat is what you become Moses will take us through his entire organizational strategy as to how can people out there get in touch with your brand and how can they get involved in these beautiful organic foods and by the way while america and britain and europe are selling us genetically modified foods they are buying from africa organic foods you need to ask yourself the question why must we eat genetically genetically modified foods when they are actually eating organic foods Thank you so much, Bishop. Um, this is the space where we, we get to interact with people and tell them where to get in touch and how to get in touch with us. We are excited to introduce this product to um, Africa. Um, we have uh, custom-made um, services that involve uh, shipping to wherever you are in Africa. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, the amount of quantities that you should order must be a minimum of a 34-ton truck. Mm. Uh, so that at least the business is viable both mm. from your end and mm. our end as mm. well. So the minimum order is 34 ton. ton for, if 30 you are going ton. outside of Africa, yes, outside of South Africa. Exactly. If, if you are in, if you are in uh, South Africa, for example, it's half a ton, which is half, half, half 34 ton, which is 17 tons. Mm. So the idea, the idea why we decided on these number of tonnages is it helps everyone to be serious. It's mm. not one of those you order 20 bags to mm. try. You no, know, you order to work. You, you are not trying because this is a tried and tested product mm -hmm. people are waiting for it mm -hmm. africa is waiting for for for, for healthy products mm -hmm. right so this is this is what we're all about so we're looking for what you may call strategic distributors or partners mm -hmm. across the face of africa across south africa to say um we have the capacity in terms of um uh, head trade mm -hmm. where we are farming we can never be overwhelmed at the present moment mm -hmm. because we really have enough land mm -hmm. to take care of what we need to grow mm -hmm. right we are going to be uh, focusing on um, empowering people like i uh, was trying to say earlier on we want to empower people to the extent that no one is loitering in the streets um job creation job creation job creation and uh, wealth creation in wealth creation mm -hmm. wealth creation i was it speaks to people being intentional about this, being deliberate about their move to wanting to be wealthy. It's not, it's not rocket science, Bishop, to be, to be wealthy. You must work. Mm. So the problem, however, is uh, the challenge that we face, that I've faced with people that want to interact with me, is they want to see profits tomorrow. Mm. You, you, you can't experience profits tomorrow. It's business. It's, it's, it's accrual. It must grow. It must mm. develop exponentially. So we are saying... It's, it's a process of growth. Mm. Uh, big brands, for example, like Coca-Cola, sold 27 bottles in a year. Mm. You understand? So, 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 but now everything, everywhere is just Coca-Cola. So we are saying we can grow this brand together if all of us in Africa are intentional about living a healthy lifestyle. Mm. And we are saying we are blocking everyone else who wants to bring in the junk to us. Mm. And, and, and we are not a dumping site. Mm. We, we, we are people who... Who, who are reasonable as well. what, what I'm hearing you saying, for example, yes. is that uh, we can we can ship uh, Mugaiwa, which is our maize meal, yes. into Nigeria. Yes. And in exchange also, we can get pounded yam and cassava powder into the south. Yes. And, and so that we begin to build a, a food warehouse. Yes. Organic African food warehouse. Yes, sir. Where we can share the diet of Mozambique the diet of Namibia, the diet of Angola and Kenya and etc. and begin to actually to take our own indigenous plants and crops and seeds seriously, seriously yes. so that the African child does not think that being healthy is eating from restaurants exactly. but is actually eating genuinely organic foods exactly. that are from the ground exactly produced by ourselves yes. without any necessary preservatives that will destroy our lives exactly you say something very interesting bishop when you said uh, um europe and the west they actually buy and eat organic stuff the, the, the people the same people that are dumping on us the gmos mm. they eat organic food ask yourself that question the, why? The, yes, why? And the answer lies with you as a human being to say, I'm saying no to this. It just begins with you. And by the way, eating this stuff is, is uneducated. It's poverty. That, that, that's, that, that's the thing. It, it, it's, an, it's, it's, it's being backward. Mm. Hence, I said, what seems like civilization is not civilization at all. Mm. It's evilization. It's evilization. Mm. The, 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 that comes as though you are now a cool, cool, cool human being. Mm. You are eating in restaurants. You, there's nothing wrong with a restaurant that makes you eat organic stuff. Mm. But the restaurant now, they give you those, those fast food that I was talking about. Mm. And, and 
they are making money through us. The last one minute, you, me you message to Africa at large. Africa, what are you saying to Africa at large about Mgayo? Africa, there is a new child on the block. There is a new child that wants you to be healthy. Your kitchen is your pharmacy. Before you consult any doctors or pharmacists, your kitchen is the first pharmacy. Your kitchen is the first point of departure. We are here to impart knowledge uh, from the ancient times that will stick with us until whenever. So we are saying die at a good old age. Don't die prematurely. We are here to provide solutions mm -hmm. from, the, from the starch itself to the relish mm -hmm. and all the ingredients are provided. What do we find you, sir? Our contacts are provided on the um, um, on our web page mm -hmm. uh, and our Facebook page as well. Um, our mobile number is plus 27 83451-6672. It will also show on the screen. We are also uh, accessible on email, sales at umgaiwamezmeo.co.za. Mm -hmm. You can always contact us and we will be ready to service you mm -hmm. at the shortest possible time. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, what's your production per month right now? Uh, it's plus or minus uh, 300 tons. 300 tons? Yes. Okay. Yes, but that's also that's also dependent on what the customer wants. Mm -hmm. We 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 are we are very adaptive to what a customer wants. Okay. That shouldn't be a problem. Like I said, the capacity is there to produce. Well, there you have it from the host mouth CEO and founder of the organization called Mgaiwa. Mgaiwa, Chimatavura, holding the stomach, that which you hold your stomach together. And not only that, this is a beautiful product that is actually organic and indigenous. These are the life stories we want to be talking about. Africans taking their health in their own hands. Not just complaining always about stuff that the white people are doing to us. But yeah. the question is, what are we doing to ourselves? Exactly. And here's a product where one fine young man has decided to take the bull by the horns and say we will not be eating you know, genetically modified foods. Yeah. We are going to start producing for ourselves African organic foodstuffs, yeah. which are African seeds. And within this, we can find health for ourselves. Yeah. And your host, as usual, Maponga J, here on your program, Sangofa. And don't do what I wouldn't do. My name is Maponga J. Until we see again, don't do what I won't do, but if you decide to do it, do it better.